Oh, shit! Oh! Straight to it! Okay, so it's definitely not a remake then. It's definitely a remaster. It'll look the same. So far, no Otaniifying of the music. Yeah, okay, pretty much the same, yeah. It's pretty much the same. Not actual game. Well, we can tell that's. <laughs> Random Shadow! <laughs> Random Shadow next to Sonic and Classic Sonic. You can't make the chill up, man. Oh! What? Oh! Oh! Is that. What's that? Final. What? What's that? What? Oh, do Doom! The eye! What? What? Bro! Hold on! Okay. But Bi Bio Lizard. That's Classic Shadow. Bio Lizard. Sonic X Shadow Generations. Autumn. Autumn. That's the Sonic and Shadow game. Come on. Zippo. Zippo. Ain't no way this is a different game. It's the same game. Okay. Ain't no way this is the the remaster. And there's and there's also a Sonic and Shadow game. It's the same shit. Ain't no way. Autumn. It's the same shit, Zippo. Zippo, you're gonna have to update your blog. Cause ain't no way it's two games. Zippo, this it's not looking good for you right now. He said first half of the year, around Sonic's birthday in June. He said This is not the Sonic Shadow game he's hearing about. That's a brand new game coming this holiday and time of the movie. That'll be announced later this year. But everything in the trailer suggests that this is basically the Sonic and Shadow game. This is old generations gameplay, right? Like, it looks like it's 4K, but it's still old generations gameplay. This is not like we ported generations into Hedgehog Engine 2 type shit. This is exactly the same, you know? But obviously, I'm guessing they had to redo the CGI because, you know, it's just so weird. Like, Classic Sonic just doesn't fit anywhere. The only time Classic Sonic kind of remotely fits anywhere is when he's next to Modern Sonic. The moment you had any other character, he just feels out of place. Like, Forces, it was like Sonic and the Avatar, and then Classic Sonic. It's like, why are you here? And it feels like it feels like Shadow has kind of made Classic Sonic look so out of place in his own game. <laughs> like, because, like, Sonic and Shadow are here. That looks cool. And then in the corner of the screen, it's just like, ew, get away. Like, why are you here? <laughs> like, you're ruining the cool factor of the image. Like, Sonic and, Sonic and Shadow are doing a cool little scene here. And corny ass classic Sonic in the corner, just like, like you the third will, bitch. They're on a date. It's Sonic X Shadow. They're on a date. Get the fuck out, classic bitch. Anyway. Yeah, you can tell they upgraded the CGI though. You can tell that. Like the resolution, just like the quality of it. Compared to like 2011, obviously. Alright. So yeah, graphically, this is obviously like Hedgehog Engine 2, it's a step up. People are saying, oh, Shadow of the Hedgehog levels in here. I thought this was like Final Chase or something, or like... I was thinking this was an SA2 level. And then you got like, the dash panels and everything. Alright. You got the Doom's Eye. Okay. I don't know what level this is, but yeah, this it does give off that, you know, that Forces, Frontier, Cyberspace kind of level design vibe. It does. Bio Lizard. Autumn, Xbox One, Series X, Switch, Sega, Steam, Mid Game Store. Uh, PS5, PS4. But yeah, it says clearly an all new collection featuring two unique experiences. Um, brand new story campaign featuring never before seen powers and abilities that prove why it's known as the ultimate life form. Also includes a complete remaster. They said complete remaster. Like, like complete. Is it a remake? Because like, you look at the, the shadow graphics and it's clearly like, you can't have this in the same game as 
regular generations graphics like you can see generations is graphically dated although some people will live in denial about that but you can see generations is graphically dated when compared to the shadow gameplay right like, that's obvious so it's clear that they're putting this game in Hedgehog Engine 2, as Zippo was saying. But they just don't have the footage to show yet. So they just have to show old generation's footage. Like... Even here, they're showing Classic Sonic gameplay. That's in-game gameplay. And they're saying cinematics, not representative of actual gameplay. But this is not a cinematic. This is just regular generation's gameplay. So they're going to have to confirm at some point that that's not how it's going to look in the complete remaster like complete what is that you can't call it a complete remaster and have it look exactly the same um newly remastered versions of the stages upgraded, upgraded visuals like this is not the footage this is not the gameplay this is just old generations gameplay just like with, with sonic origins you know it's the it's the same as with the origins trailer when they showed three and knuckles and it was you know black borders four by three and they had to confirm on twitter that you know, this is not actually how it's going to look in Origins. We just didn't have it ready. It's coming out in Autumn. And last time I checked, Autumn is like September onwards, right? Like, winter starts December, right? So it's like September, October, November is, is Autumn, right? I don't even remember the months anymore. What, what months are Autumn months? I, man. Autumn months. Yeah, September, October, November. Yeah. So it's coming latest November right as early as september they didn't say holiday 2024 so you know it could be september i don't know but yeah the generations footage is just we haven't we haven't seen the remake at all so in terms of generations remade we haven't seen it so let's just get that out of the way if this is like 3d world bowser's fury we've seen the bowser's fury we haven't seen the 3d world so we can't even talk about that we have nothing to say about that what we know is that it's supposedly remade because Zippo said it and the d description here says complete remaster, upgraded visuals. And because companies don't know the difference between remaster and remake, it should, it sounds like a remake. It sounds like Generations is getting a remake. But because they keep mixing these words up, complete remastered, upgraded visual, we, we don't know how far they're going to go, right? But yeah, Generations remade. I don't think we're going to see it until closer to the summer, I'm guessing, at like the E3 period, when they'll finally show us what it looks like. But in terms of the shadow content, I mean, visually, it looks good. Um, visually, I can't hate on it. Um, but in terms of, um, in terms of um, what's it called, the level design and the physics, I don't know. We'll have to see. And if, it's, if Generations is going to be remade of that same physics, then there is cause for concern if the physics aren't good. Um, Flowing Cast only one dollar and said, "My guess is that generations will be up pressed to 4K 60 and run on Hedgehog Engine One, and Shadow run at 4K 30 and 1080p 60 on consoles, and run on Hedgehog Engine 2. There is no way that generations is the same game. There's no way. Like it's just no way. They've like no. It's just complete remaster. Newly like." How many times do they have to say it? Like, it's it can't be just a port. It can't just be up re Complete remaster. Newly remastered versions. Upgraded visuals. I feel like for them to say that multiple times, it can't just be the same game. It's ported into Hedgehog Engine 2. Maybe they reused some assets. But, like, complete newly remastered versions upgrade of it it's like how many times do they have to say it before it's like okay so it is a remake right yo what's up beeps gens is hedgehog engine one shadow hedgehog engine two gens ain't getting a remake but how do you know it's not getting a remake though i mean like how are you so sure did they say something to confirm that because like i don't see how I just don't see how how this how they're not gonna remake it. I mean, obviously this footage is not remade footage, but everything suggests that they're remaking it. I don't know. It sounds like they're remaking it, but they, they don't want to show the footage. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know.
Because for it to just be like, the shadow part is brand new and then Generations is just a port, then they wouldn't have said it this way, right? Like, like they wouldn't have said it. Like, I don't know how else you could say this. Like, would I be wrong for being upset if Generations was just the same game again? For if they said it, like, how many times do they have to say shit like this? Right? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, they shouldn't have said this if it was just the same game up res. If it was an up res, don't say it's a complete remaster. You're getting the same game again at 60 FPS. Cool. Then say that. Then say that. But like, complete remaster featuring newly remastered versions with upgraded visuals. Like, is your is their idea of upgraded visuals 60 FPS 4K? Like, are they just doing that thing where they overhype it in the words and then it comes out and it's like, by complete remaster, we meant that it runs at 60 FPS and we upraised it to 4K. Like, maybe it is just that. I mean, it is Sega after all. I should be expecting the disappointing option, right? Everything points to it should be a remake, but it is Sega. So they could just be saying all these words and then it's just like, psych operas. You know, uh, up for it. Admit I like pepper. Look, it's a YouTube kids video. That's why the sidebar is full of bullshit. You can see it's a YouTube kids video. Like this has got nothing to do with my recommendations. I don't watch whatever the fuck is on this sidebar. Okay, <laughs> that's what happens when you get a YouTube kids video. Anyway, Tell Shadow said official screenshots of Sonic X Shadow Generations. With Sonic X Shadow Generation, I can't say all of that at once. Um, we wanted to bring Sonic Generation to PS5 and PS4 while pairing a brand new Shadow Story on to cross over with the original story. Okay, so. When they say official screenshots, did they just screenshot from the trailer? I don't think these are press release screenshots. Um, today we unveiled Sonic X Shadow Generations, the upcoming Sonic Extra platform, blistering platform challenges. Um, both remastered and expanded. Okay. What else is there? This is just the trailer. Uh, oh, this is Beats' tweet. Um, it's just Sonic reskinned the shadow using cyberspace shitty physics. You can notice it based off him using the parry animation before home attacking and also his little air spin after home attack. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Shadow plays like cyberspace. That's the last game they made, them reusing it. I guess to them makes logical sense. But I think that's my biggest fear, right? Because if Generations, the main game, is really going to be Hedgehog Engine 2, as Zipper was claiming, right? He said it's a remaster from the ground up, which again, these confusing terms. Is it a remake or a remaster? But if it's really going to be put into Hedgehog Engine 2, is it just going to be like, we copy the Generations level design and assets and put them into cyberspace physics and graphics because it's not gonna play right if they just do that. And I can feel that being a major issue. I could just feel that being a major issue. Check DMs. All right, give me one sec. Uh, this says it's captured on PS5 and it looks identical to the original. So Gens is a remaster, not a remake. Does it say captured on PS5 on the, hold on. Which part did it say catch it on PS4? There's a timestamp on that. Where's the part where it said catch it on PS4? I must, I didn't see the capture on PS5. Maybe on the state of play version? Maybe they, maybe it's, cause it's not on this trailer. If it's on the state of play version, but it's not here, isn't that, what if Sony added that? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be on Copium, right? I really don't wanna be on Copium. If it's, if it's the same game again, it's the same game again, okay? I just don't like how vague they are with these with these terminologies. Cause if it's the same game again, just say it. Just say it's a basic remaster. 
Like, don't be, like, from the ground up and complete and, you know, when they say these things, it's not... This is why I hate that they've ruined the terms remaster and remake. They removed they remove the, the actual meaning behind them. Because so many remakes came out using the term remaster that it's, like, ruined the phrasing now. So now when someone says remaster, they don't even know if they mean, like, what a remaster is supposed to be or if they actually mean remake. The website's up. Oh, shit, okay. Let's take a look. Mmm, okay. So they got Sonic X Shadow Generations and they got... Shadow Generations redirects to Sonic X Shadow Generations. Alright. You can wish this did now. Okay, let's see the Steam page actually. Hold on, before you go on the site. Let me guess. They haven't gotten to that, po that point yet on their, on their shit. Um... Oh, hey, it's me. Gens is still up. Good for them. Um, here we go. Coming soon, answer your wish list. Okay. Um... All new collection, two unique experiences, mm. complete remaster. Mm. So they said upgraded visuals. They said bonus content. So they said also includes. So they're saying they've already talked about the shadow shit like here, and then they say also includes a complete remaster generations featuring newly remastered versions, and then they said bonus content. So I don't know what. Other bonus to talk about? Is it just gonna be like the Casino Night DLC? I don't know. Anyway, but the website. Yeah, there's nothing really on the site. I'm guessing this is the trailer we already saw, and then these are the screenshots. Ugh. Yeah. I mean. On the one hand, it's bittersweet, right? Because if the game, if Generations itself was remade, then it would look better because they'll be enhancing it graphically. But then we'd be worried that they'll just butcher it in the remaking process. So then we'd be upset about that because we can't trust them to remake things properly. But if it's just a remaster, then it's probably going to play the same, which means at least the quality control will be solid. But then the con is that it's just the same game again with no real graphical enhancement other than higher res and 60 fps is it still going to be kept at 60 fps even on pc like is like even if that hasn't even been sorted out then they've like done nothing right because only japanese developers somehow believe that 60 fps is or a cap of 60 fps is acceptable on pc in 2024 because i feel like everyone else has realized you shouldn't be doing that anymore Yeah, Beats, that's the thing. It's like, you want them to do things and improve it. But then at the same time, if they do things to try and improve it, they'll probably just make it worse. Because we don't trust them. So it's like that bittersweet feeling of, well, well, it's the same game again, so they can't fuck it up. But it's the same game again, so we can't get anything fresh, right? Obviously, Shadows Campaign is a separate thing. I'm just talking about the Generations part on its own, you know? So, you know... It is what it is, man. If Generations really is the same, there's no Hedgehog Engine 2 of it, then then Zippo's not looking strong right now because he said it's now running on Hedgehog Engine 2. If it looks the same, then there's no way it's running on Hedgehog Engine 2. So he's wrong about that. Uh, console versions run at 60 with the Ocean 4K. I mean, anyone could have predicted that, minus Switch, obviously. Um, uh, an internal mandate from Sega to improve the quality. I mean, we'll see about that. So the, the jury's still out on that. So this, it seems like he could be wrong about this. This, anyone could have predicted that. This, I mean, we'll see about that, right? Brand new content featuring Shadow, but he wasn't the first one to say that. Other people already said that. Releasing the first half of the year, so wrong on that. And the big one is he said this is not the Sonic and Shadow game he's hearing about. That's a brand new game coming with the holiday. He's probably wrong about this too because like now this game is coming out in autumn. 
So you can't really expect me to believe that there's another Shadow game. If this comes out like September, October, November, that's autumn. You can't really expect me to believe there's another Shadow game coming out at the same time as well, like within two months of each other. <laughs> like, like, you can't, I mean, look, Sonic X Shadow Generations, then two months later, like Shadow the Hedgehog 2, like, I, 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 I don't see it, okay? I, I don't, right? Unless Paramount has got like a fucking, unless Paramount's got like a deal to make their own game and it's like, Shadow Movie Shadow's got his own experience that's so separate that Sega's not even make it. I don't know, but I don't see it. Like I, I don't see it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. Someone said it's a physics problem. If you try to uncap Frontiers, it begins to break. Well, it's not a physics problem. I mean, it is, but it's a. You can fix these things. That's what development is about, right? You design the game to work at higher frame rates and then it will work at higher frame rates. That's, that's why you have to update your shit. You know, it's 2024 now. The idea of like forced caps at 60 on games that are coming to PC is ridiculous. Like even on consoles, we're getting to the point where it's ridiculous. Nintendo, the only one left that's really, anything while 60 just sound ridiculous, right? PS5 and Series X can do above 60 on a lot of games. Not everything, because obviously there's power limitations, but on something like PC, where you know that a game is supposed to last several years because people are going to upgrade their hardware, 60 is just, it's not acceptable of a cap anymore. Especially, I'm on 4K, but there's people who are still gaming on 1440p, 1080p. Those people especially are, are well able to get above 60 f Like, my Steam Deck can run generations at 60 FPS. You know, so if my Steam Deck can run that at 60 FPS, then my 4080 PC can definitely run generations at, if it allowed me, well over like 120 plus. There was a, a hack that allowed you to run it at like 120 or 144, but it breaks the controls. You can still kind of boost, but you can't like move the analog stick. It's weird, but it, it's clear that it would have been a better experience if you could do that. So. I don't know, man. My, my honesty, my assumption is that the Shadow game was going to be like... Because remember, like, when the Sonic and Shadow... When the Sonic and Shadow leaks first started, they said, don't expect something really big. It's not going to be like Frontiers. It's going to be like a short game, right? So my assumption is that the Sonic and Shadow game... Oh, sorry, the Shadow game was basically like forces length like three four hours on at a regular not too fast pace so they made like a three four hour shadow game and they sat there and went as much as people love shadow the sonic is what you know gets all the money so we have to add sonic to this somehow so if we just bundle in generations with it then not only will more people buy it because it's the sonic and not just shadow but we can charge more because a shadow game on its own that's like four hours they might be able to get away with 50 Maybe even 60 for hardcore fans, but realistically they shouldn't be charging more than 40 for something like that. But we'll just say 50. Add in generations now, and it's like, okay, we can charge 70 now. And especially after movie three comes out, like this comes out say November, and it's just generations plus shadow. Right? It comes out November, the movie comes out December. They're looking for the, the latest game featuring our Lord and Savior, the Sonic, and Shadow, because those are going to be the two major characters in Sonic Movie 3. Oh, look, Sonic and Shadow Generations, 70 bucks, bought, sales go up. They've lined it up perfectly for that. So them not doing much to Generations, even though they keep talking about complete remaster, them leaving it the way it is, basically, it's like, it's like their, it's their safety chip, right? Because the new Shadow content is new and that means current sonic team with their lesser competence than the sonic team that made generations the current sonic team is making the shadow content which means we can expect even though the visuals will be nicer we can expect probably inferior physics probably inferior level design to what was in generations so that means when the reviewers come in if they slander the shadow portion of the game say it's not that good they'll be like well these generations is good right and it keeps the metacritics from going too bad because if the shadow game's on its own then it has to stand on its own two legs right but bundle it with generations it's just bonus content now so you charge 70 dollars you get the money because it's sonic and shadow and the hype of movie 3 and the metacritics don't take too much of a nosedive 
Because Generations is there, and that's a solid game. It's like a win-win for Sega. You know. D-list the original generation, so everyone has to buy this version. I mean... I don't see how Sega takes an L here. I mean, in terms of what I wanted to see, I mean, I would have wanted to see a bit more, but... I don't see how Sega takes the L here. Um... But yeah, um... Personally, I just... Uh, I hate saying this, but like... Shadow just doesn't fit Generations. He's just like... Generations is like... The gimmick was Classic Sonic. Classic Sonic not even here. <laughs> He's not on the page. <laughs> like, you just X'd him out of his own game. They went from too much Classic Sonic to just X'ing him out of his own game. I don't know, it just, it's, it's so out of place. I don't know. It just feels so weird. I don't know, man. It feels so weird. I mean, look, if the content is good, the content is good. It's just like, it's such a weird place to just add in Shadow, like, but, you know, if the content is good, the content is good. That's all I have to say, you know. You excited to hear Kirk voice in Shadow again? Man, we got the AI now. I'm gonna just like we could rework all those clips into Jason. Like literally, the AI will let me do that. Bradley, stop hating on technology. Ugh. They're gonna delist gens now. I mean, I don't see how they don't delist gens. If it really is just a remaster and not a remake, why would they have two versions of generations on Steam? I just don't see it. But again, this game isn't available for pre-order yet. It's just on wish list, so you can't buy it yet. But I, I guarantee you, the moment this game is available for pre-order, it's it's highly likely that gens gets delisted. But if it's the same game again, I'm guessing porting the mods over won't be that hard. Um, predictions for critic scores? Probably familiar, early 70s on Metacritic, so that probably yellow, most likely. It's gonna be a case of like, the Shadow content is not as good as the Sonic content, because the Sonic content is generations, and they can't live up to that. So that will probably weigh it down. So I'm thinking early 70s. Um, and since it's on Switch, we'll see what happens in terms of performance issues. But yeah, I think that's it, man. I don't think there's anything else I gotta say. Why do you believe Sonic can't perform more critically? I mean, that's a whole separate debate. I can't get into that now. Cause like, they could make the perfect Sonic game and it still wouldn't perform more critically for other reasons, right? That being said, I don't think they've made the perfect Sonic game anytime recently, but it's just a whole separate thing. But yeah. Classic Sonic is officially on call now. Sega's confirmed it. They X'd him out of his own game in terms of the marketing. <laughs> it's Sonic and Shadow now. They need it to look similar to the movie. And Classic Sonic's thankfully not going to be in the movie, so. Anyway. Someone said, so if a 10 out of 10 Sonic game comes out, you believe it will get low 70s? Well, if I recall correctly, Sonic Heroes already came out, and that did get low 70s, so they've already done exactly that. I don't really have anything else to say to make a new discussion. They didn't really show that much, in terms of, like, you know, just, there's not much else to say. I'll probably wait for more info. Azuka will probably go on a yapping spree at some point, and then, and then we'll use that to, like, you know... We need a bit more info. Like, how many levels is Shadow gonna be? How much content is in the Shadow portion? Because if Generations is just the same game, it's not even Hedgehog Engine 2, 
then it's basically the same game. There's nothing else to say. It's generations again. Unless they make it glitchier, which is possible. Unless they butcher the visuals, which is also possible. But assuming it's the same, there's nothing to say about it. All we can talk about is the shadow content. It's the only thing that's changing. So, like, how many levels? How many bosses? How much content? You know, how long would it take to beat the shadow portion? Bowser's Fury was like five hours for me when I first played it. So it was like, that's that's all we can talk about, the shadow portion. So until we get more info on that, I don't really feel like I've got much else to discuss.